morning and welcome to Government House. My name is Hugh Borrowman. I have the honour to be the Official Secretary to Her Excellency the Governor and I'll be the Master of Ceremonies today. Your Excellency, the following appointments to Member of the Order of Australia in the General Division have been made. Professor Philip Edmund Aylward is recognised for significant service to medicine and to community health administration. Professor Aylward is a cardiologist with over two decades of involvement in clinical trials. His particular clinical interests are in acute cardiology and interventional cardiology, and he has been an active researcher in the area of coronary systems, lipid management, and heart failure. He is director of the Division of Medicine, Cardiac and Critical Care Services of the Southern Adelaide Local Health Network. He has been involved in large-scale multinational clinical trials and has been the Australian lead investigator and member of a number of international steering committees and has overseen clinical trial organisations at the Flint Flinders Medical Centre and SAMRI. As a member of the Innovation Centre within SAMRI Heart Health, he is leading the development of education programs. Professor Elwood is also recognised for his contribution to the National Heart Foundation and the Cardiac Society of Australia and New Zealand. Professor Philip Edmund Elwood. Ms. Rosalind Elaine Butler is recognised for significant service to women, to vocational education and to gender equity. Ms. Butler has worked as an academic, educator, researcher, consultant and activist in the field of gender equality and social inclusion for more than four decades. She is widely respected for her dedication to enhancing the well-being of women, girls and marginalised groups. This work has been at the local, national, regional and international levels with an enduring focus on education and training, decent work and policy outcomes. Ms Butler was a member of the Australian Government Delegation to the UN Commission on the Status of Women in New York in 2011 and is a founding member of the Australian Coalition for Education and Development. A long-term member of Women in Adult and Vocational Education, WAVE, she held several leadership positions and as ambassador represents the organisation on several Asia, South Pacific and Australian associations. Known for her dedicated research and advocacy, Ms Butler is an author and co-author of more than 70 articles, book chapters and presentation papers, and founder of Elaine Butler & Associates Consulting Company. Ms Rosalind Elaine Butler. Your Excellency, the following appointment to Member of the Order of Australia in the Military Division has been made. Group Captain Martin Norman Nassio is recognised for exceptional service to the Australian Defence Force in capability acquisition and sustainment. Group Captain Nassio made a superb contribution to improving the Jindalee operational radar network, introducing space surveillance systems and telescope capacity. This network has made Australia a world leader in high-frequency skywave over the horizon radar technology. Group Captain Nassio has also been involved in acquisition and sustainment of the MQ-4C Triton remotely piloted aircraft, the P-8A Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft and the MQ-9B Sky Guardian remotely piloted system through conspicuous professionalism and stellar program management. These systems represent major advances in surveillance, strengthen the ability to protect deployed military forces and enhance protection of Australia's vast ocean areas and borders. As the program director, Group Captain Nassio led multiple project teams and was responsible for delivering the capabilities on time, on budget and ready for their role in securing Australia. 
He collaborated extensively with the Australian defence industry and built strong partnerships with the US Navy and Air Force. Group Captain Martin Norman Nassio. Your Excellency, the Conspicuous Service Cross has been awarded to the following recipients. Flight Lieutenant Aaron James Hardman is recognised for outstanding achievement in aerospace engineering, project management and electronic warfare capability development for the Australian Defence Force. Flight Lieutenant Hardman's superior abilities as an engineer across multiple types of technology have made a major contribution to Australian Defence Force capability. He led the resolution of a number of airworthiness issues with the Lydian fighter, a jet training aircraft, which improved defence's engagement with industry. He also provided considerable support for local and deployed P-8A Poseidon operations, establishing robust planning tools to support maintenance activities for 11 Squadron. He created a joint industry and Royal Australian Air Force engineering team to accelerate the remediation of complex P-8A aircraft faults this team will have a long-lasting positive impact on the Poseidon's capability. Flight Lieutenant Hardman also works extensively in the elect electromagnetic battle space, advancing the Australian Defence Force's electronic warfare and fifth-generation capabilities. Flight Lieutenant Aaron James Hardman. Wing Commander Colette Kristen Richards is recognised for outstanding devotion to duty in aviation medicine capability development and delivery for the Royal Australian Air Force. Wing Commander Richards displayed outstanding devotion to duty whilst leading the Future Defence Aviation Medicine Capability Project and as Commanding Officer of the Institute of Aviation Medicine. At a time when the need for aviation medicine was under scrutiny, she led a review which confirmed its importance and stature within the Defence Force. She also led a subsequent project to define its future in the organisation, including training, research and clinical requirements, as well as the career paths available to aviation medical officers. The work of Wing Commander Richards has resulted in the development of fundamental improvements to aviation medicine in Australia, meeting the demands of a fifth generation Air Force in a joint warfighting environment. Her inspiration dedication and perseverance are within the finest tradition of the Australian Air Force. Wing Commander Colette Kristen Richards. Your Excellency, the Australian Police Medal has been awarded to the following recipients. Senior Sergeant Christopher Drew Holland is recognised for distinguished service to the community within the South Australian Police. Senior Sergeant Holland joined South Australia Police in 1989. He has served with distinction in speed detection and random breath testing in the Port Adelaide Division and as a planning officer and traffic planning coordinator for emergency and major events. For the past eight years, he has been the traffic commander for the Tour Down Under, 
and applied his specialised skills to major events statewide. Recently, he has managed the traffic component in SAPOL's COVID response regarding border closures and repatriation of flight arrivals. Senior Sergeant Holland is routinely sought out for his traffic management expertise. He has fostered close relationships with government departments, event organisers and private traffic management companies with their seamless collaboration ensuring participant and public safety. Senior Sergeant Christopher Drew Holland. Detective Superintendent Gail McClure is recognised for distinguished service to the community within the Australian Federal Police. Detective Superintendent McClure began her career with the Australian Federal Police more than 20 years ago. In the early 2000s, she worked in intelligence operations before being seconded to the National Crime Authority and then to the Australian Crime Commission. She was deployed to the United Nations Mission in Cyprus in 2007 and on her return to Australia, commenced with the counter-terrorism portfolio. Promoted to sergeant in 2009, she was transferred to the counter-terrorism international team in 2013, and then posted to London as the AFP's counter-terrorism liaison officer. Later, in Melbourne, she worked with the covert services team, where she built an undercover operative exchange program with international partners. Following her promotion to the rank of superintendent in 2018, she now leads crime and counter-terrorism counter investigations in Central Command, Adelaide. Detective Superintendent Gail McClure. Senior Sergeant First Class Sharon Lynn Walker-Roberts is recognised for distinguished service to the community within the South Australian Police. Senior Sergeant Walker-Roberts joined SAPOL in 1994 and has been at the forefront of the organisation's responses to domestic violence and victim management for over 20 years. As Victim Policy State Coordinator, she was integral to implementing the Intervention Orders Project in 2009. She then played significant roles in establishing the Family Safety Meeting Framework in 2011 to 14, and the development and implementation of both the Domestic Violence Disclosure Scheme in 2018, as well as SAPOL's current Domestic Violence Strategy. More recently, Senior Sergeant Walker Roberts developed business practices, procedures and training for the National Domestic Violence Disclosure Scheme and helped establish a co-located police official within the Family Court. As a manager in the family and domestic violence section, she continues to be widely respected for her expertise and her long-standing commitment to vulnerable people. Senior Sergeant First Class, Sharon Lynn Walker-Roberts. Senior Sergeant First Class Gregory Raymond Williams 
is recognised for distinguished service to the community within the South Australian Police. Senior Sergeant First Class Williams has had a distinguished career in SAPOL of over 40 years, focusing predominantly on training and development. He has demonstrated significant commitment to recruit training and police leadership training at the Police Academy and in the field. He was the Training and Development Coordinator at Holden Hill, Sturt and Eastern Adelaide local service areas before performing this role for Security and Emergency Management Service and Police Security Services Branch. Senior Sergeant First Class Williams is solely responsible for the continuous improvement and delivery of the Protective Security Officer Qualification Program, developing civilian recruits into qualified Protective Security Officers through the successful completion of academic, practical and operational components. His outstanding training and development skill set has seen him develop, implement and coordinate comprehensive training packages at a high academic level. Senior Sergeant First Class Gregory Raymond Williams. Your Excellency, the Medal of the Order of Australia in the General Division has been awarded to the following recipients. Mr Ian Humphrey Bailey is recognised for service to people with disability through sport. Mr Bailey has spent many dec decades helping people with disability live a better life through lawn bowls programs. The Chief Executive Officer of Clearview Bowling Club since 2002, his commitment was shaped by his late son David who was born with spina bifida. This experience inspired Mr. Bailey to support people living with physical or intellectual disabilities. Mr. Bailey is also recognised for his service to the Disability Sports International Paralympic Committee and for his 10 years as chairman at Parkwa Housing Cooperative, which worked to build and provide homes for people with disability. His numerous awards include Volunteer of the Year, Bowls SA and Clearview Bowling Club, and Meritorious Service Award, Spina Bifida and Hydrocephalus Association of South Australia. Mr. Ian Humphrey Bailey. Ms. Erin Phillips is recognised for service to Australian rules football and to basketball. Olympic and Commonwealth Games medalist Erin Phillips followed her impressive international basketball resume with an equally outstanding AFLW career. She began playing basketball for the Adelaide Lightning in 2002, joining the Australian Opals in 2005. The team won gold at the 2006 FIBA World Championship for Women and the 2006 Commonwealth Games and silver at the 2008 Olympics. Ms Phillips' basketball talent took her to the women's NBA, where she played with several clubs over more than 10 years. In 2017, age 31, she signed with the Adelaide Crows and was named co-captain. That year, the Crows won the grand final and Ms Phillips won best on ground, an achievement she followed up in 2019 when the club won its second premiership. As her AFL career took off, she continued to be involved in the WBA team Dallas Wings as Director of Player and Franchise Development from 2017 to 18 and as Assistant Coach from 2018 to 19. Ms Erin Phillips.
Dr. Michael Roland Schultz is recognised for service to medicine as a surgeon. Dr. Schultz has been an ear, nose and throat surgeon since 1996 and a fellow of the Royal Australian College of Surgeons since 1995. As the clinical director of the Women and Children's Hospital's Paediatric Cochlear Implant Program, he has a particular interest in cochlear implant surgery. His other interests include neuroatology and lateral skull-based surgery, as well as managing Meniere's disease and vertigo. He was, head of the he was the medical unit head of the hospital's ENT department from 2012 to 17, and is also a visiting medical officer at North Adelaide's Memorial Hospital. Dr. Schultz is a member of the Australian Society of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery and previously chaired its state training committee. He was a member of the Royal Australian College of Surgeons Court of Examiners from 2012 to 21. He is an Adelaide University graduate and continued his education with a fellowship in neuroautology and skull-based surgery at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge. Dr. Michael Roland Schultz. Your Excellency, the Medal of the Order of Australia in the Military Division has been awarded to the following recipient. Warrant Officer Wade Clifford Billsborough is recognised for meritorious performance of duty as a Navy representative within the Air Warfare Destroyer Program. Warrant Officer Billsborough has made an enduring contribution to the Air Warfare Destroyer Program and the construction and acceptance of the Hobart class guided missile destroyers. His knowledge and expertise have assisted the shipbuilding partners, the Royal Australian Navy, and moreover the technical sailors who will operate the three Hobart class ships, which replaced the Adelaide class frigates. The Air Warfare Destroyer Program has provided the Royal Australian Navy with one of the world's most capable multi-mission warships. The Hobart class destroyers provide Navy with the capability to defend, to defend a naval force from aircraft and missile attack and to operate in anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare roles. Warrant Officer Billsborough's long-term contribution to the program was underpinned by outstanding personal leadership, innovative methods, exemplary dedication to duty, and perseverance in challenging situations. Warrant Officer Wade Clifford Billsborough. Your Excellency, the Conspicuous Service Medal has been awarded to the following recipient. Sergeant Jared Robert Mildrum is recognised for meritorious devotion to duty as the Electronic Countermeasures Sergeant within the Land Countermeasures Reprogramming Cell at Army Headquarters. Sergeant Mildrum has significantly contributed to the enhancement of the ADF's operational capacity. In the fields of both ground-based air defence and force protection electronic countermeasures, his consistent demonstration of leadership, innovation and professional mastery has been inspirational. Sergeant Mildrum's ability to grasp technical concepts far ahead of his rank or experience has seen him recently sent to represent the Army in operations, bilateral exercises and interdepartmental capability testing. He has quickly become a subject matter expert in his field with an approach to problem solving admired by his superiors at all ranks. Sergeant Mildrum's performance has been outstanding and in keeping within the finest traditions of the Australian Army and ADF. Sergeant Jarrett Robert Mildrum. Your Excellency, that concludes the presentations for this morning.
Oh, I hope we all agree. I mean, wasn't that wonderful? Just so inspirational. Shall we all, perhaps, for a final time, as a group, given the extraordinary achievement, congratulate today's recipients.